Martha's in the kitchen with kids making potato latkes, a delicious Hanukkah dish. Please, stay with us. the Festival of Lights is only four days away. So to celebrate this holiday, we're going to prepare a traditional dish, one that I make every single year, uh, potato latkes. And I have with me today two wonderful children who uh, seem to know the story of Hanukkah, seem to know uh, a lot about potato pancakes, eight-year-old Max and seven-year-old Alexis, who celebrate Hanukkah with their families every year. So Hanukkah is on the same day as Christmas. Isn't that exciting? It's exciting for us who celebrate Christmas, exciting for you so, uh, who celebrate Hanukkah. Uh, Max, tell us a little bit about Hanukkah. What is, the, what is the festival of Hanukkah? It's when the Greeks took over Jewish people, the temple, and the land of Israel. Judah and small army of Maccabees started getting tired of being G Greek, so they wanted to keep their religion, so they fought a war, and they won it. And then when they got the temple back, they wanted to celebrate by lighting the menorah. They had enough oil to light it for one day, but it lasted eight days. So there's really two miracles of Hanukkah. The first one is that, that, the, <laughs> that such few people could beat so many trained men, and the second miracle is that such, that a such a small amount of oil lasted for eight days. That's fantastic. Wow. That is, that's the most concise explanation of Hanukkah that I have ever heard. That is excellent. And uh, now, we have two large Idaho potatoes for you children to grate. Be careful of your hands. We're going to grate them on the coarse side of the grater, and we're going to put them into ice water. Why are we going to do that, uh, Alexis? To make them not brown. So to make them not, not brown. brown. So the, the potato starch would turn black, or dark, dark, blackish brown, if you didn't put them in the ice water. And when you take them out of the ice water, look how beautiful. So why don't you grate a little bit more potato for me? And I'm just removing the freshly grated potatoes that have been sitting in the ice water. I'm going to put them in to a sort of a cotton uh, towel so I can squeeze out all excess water. You don't want any water in your potatoes. And then you let the water settle and all the starch that has been rinsed out of the potatoes then can be put back into the pancakes. Is there a way to make it so you don't cut your fingers? Yeah, I, I think here, this way. Here, do it on the counter first. This way, watch. Go down and hold it far away from the grater, okay? And then you can scoop up the potato and put it into, okay. yeah, then scoop it up off, no, keep that flat, yeah. And now just down, hold it this way, around, the other way. Yeah, better. Okay, so be careful, just do it a little bit. Now lift it up, lift up the potatoes that you've grated, yep, and then you put that, see they're already turning brown? Put them right into the ice water. So be careful. You want to come over and do a little bit safer task? This can be done on a, uh, a food processor with a grating um, implement. Um, oh, that's the way your mother does it, right? Yeah, see? <laughs> she doesn't want to follow Martha. She wants to follow Mummy. So just squeeze out the rest of the water and put this... Oh, I love to do this. This is fun. Here, come on over here, kids. Um, could you, Alexis, break those two eggs into this bowl for me? Okay. And now I'm going to mix everything in this large bowl. Now see, as I pour the brownish water off, this is where the potatoes were. Look at all that white starch in the bottom of the bowl. That goes right back into the potato pancake. See? Touch that. Ever see that before? No. It's like a powdery substance. Look, that's potato starch. Doesn't it feel starchy? Yep. Yep. So now break the eggs and mix those with the grated onion. You Here's our beautiful white potato grating. Now, does your mom put a little beer in her potato pancakes? No, never. Never. <laughs> never um, even heard of it. Oh, you haven't? Oh, that, it might be Polish Catholic <laughs> to put the little bit of beer in. My mother always put a little beer in. Okay, so mix that up and we'll put that grated onion. We want uh, about uh, one white onion that's grated. Oops, come on, in there. Mix that up as well as you can. And we also have, um, this is the beer. Don't tell your mother. <laughs> She's and, right there in the audience. Oh, she is? Uh -oh. <laughs> Mom, um, three tablespoons of all-purpose flour. I'm gonna mix that into that. Gives a little bit of body. Do you like pepper? A little yep. bit of pepper. Kind of. Um, a little bit of salt, about one tablespoon of salt. You really need salt in the potato pancakes. 
and now you can pour that right over. As soon as you get it mixed up, you're doing a very good job. You can mix this for me, okay? Just toss it with the egg mixture. That's good. Thank you, Alexis. Very, very excellent with the whisk. Very excellent. This is fantastic. Next, I want to make lockets. Is there another way so it's easier to not get shell in your lockers? Eggshell, you mean? Yeah. Well, no, you have to break into a little bowl. Break into a little bowl and then mix it, and then you can pick out all the shell. We don't want shells in our lockers <laughs> at all. And we're going to serve these with uh, sour cream, pink applesauce, caviar. What do you like? It? What do you like on your lockers? First of all, what's caviar? Oh, caviar fish eggs. Do you think you're going to like that? No, not at all. No. But I'm going to ask you to try it anyway. Would you like to? No. No, thanks. <laughs> when we come back, we're going to finish making our potato pancakes, our latkes. And later on, we're going to show you a great way to keep your Christmas tree fresh and green. with Max and Alexis, who are helping to make one of their favorite Hanukkah dishes, potato latkes. And I am frying them in, oh, about a quarter of an inch of uh, a good quality vegetable oil. You can use canola oil. Uh, I like a very light oil. Now, Alexis, you have a Hanukkah song that you sing. Mm -hmm. Do you want to sing it for the audience? Okay. I'd like to hear. Hanukkah, oh Hanukkah, come light the menorah. Let's have a party, we we'll love it. Oh. Gather in a circle, we'll give you a treat. Civvy, you won't you play with them like this to eat? And while we are waiting, the candles are burning low. One for each night, they share this we'd like to remind us of days long ago. Well, her parents are very happy. And uh, there was no teleprompter with all those. You, you remembered everything. Now, you just cook these until they're a beautiful golden brown, uh, just like this. Um, I, I find that um, this is best done right at the stove and serve them to your guests right hot from the stove because uh, everybody loves them when they're crispy and warm. Um, and now, we can let those, we'll watch those. Now, this is caviar. Do you want to just taste? No, thanks. <laughs> what about you, Alexis? I'll taste. You'll taste. Here, I'll just give you a little tiny bit. Pink applesauce is really good on potato pancakes. And do you like um, a little sour cream, too? No, thanks. I'll just have pink applesauce. Oh, okay. It's just thanks. pink applesauce. And I'll give you a little sour cream and a little tiny bit of caviar, Alexis. Um, I don't... And just... You want a little sour cream? No. No, she doesn't like sour cream. <laughs> this is for me, then. And you will have just a tiny little bit of caviar. I'll have a little applesauce. And applesauce and caviar? Okay. <laughs> Not really. I'll just put a tiny, tiny little bit. Just tell me what you think. You can, there, that much. Just taste that first without the applesauce. What do you think? What do you think? Good. It's good. They're Spish. awesome. Mmm. Fantastic. Max, what's your favorite part of Hanukkah? Well, for my brother, it's about eating lakas. Yeah. Opening presents, playing dreidel. Yeah. Singing, dancing, and having fun. But for me, it's about the story of Hanukkah. You're a very serious boy, Max. <laughs> Are you sure? What about getting uh, presents? Do you like that part? Mm. It's not so important, right? Mm, not really. It's the story. Well, I want you to come back and tell me more stories about the Jewish faith, because I think you have it down pat. Are you, are you preparing for your bar mitzvah? Yeah. Early? Yeah. You still have how many years? About five. Five. Huh? Yeah, five five yeah. years to go. I think he's going to have the most fantastic bar mitzvah ever, <laughs> uh, because you are amazing. Now, do you make latkes with your mother, Alexis? When I was little, I did. What do you mean, when she was little? Oh, at seven, you're now big? You're standing on a box, but you're not that big. Here, I'll show you how tall she really is. There. That's how big she is. Okay. <laughs> Did you tell everybody that you were on the show today? Yes. And um, is I your school watching? Friend, um, well, I told my friend Camille about this. Yeah. And 
Um, I was on the telephone then, though, but I told her, yeah. and her head nearly exploded when she heard. Oh, with envy? You think no, she was not envy? envy but oh, with she was like, congratulations. Oh, she was excited. <laughs> well, you have to bring back some of your friends. If they're as talkative and as intelligent and as as um, composed as the two of you, I would love to have more of your friends on the show too. Okay? You're excellent students and excellent teachers. Thank you very much. When we come back, um, the um, we have a really great thing to show you. Stay with us.